Super Indy Championship at stake here in a triple threat matchup. The fabulous John McChesney defending the championship against Wonder Man, Glenn Spector, as well as Chris Hero. Joe Dombrowski joined once again by Chuck Roberts as this matchup almost over right off the bat. Before you could sit down, Chuck. <laughs> well, what a treat we have here, if I'm not mistaken. I don't believe this was advertised. Correct me if I'm wrong, Joe. Not to my knowledge. Yeah, this was not an advertised match, though, to, sh to show up at an IWC event and to find out that you have a triple threat match consisting of Glenn Spector, Fabulous Sean McChesney, Chris Hero for the Super Indy title. That's getting your money's worth. No doubt about that. And there's a lot of backstory there as well between Chris Hero and Glenn Spector. Of course, they've been fighting for much of the summer over the pride of the title of IWC's top superhero. Yeah. Believe it or not, you know, some things in this business you go for, some guys go for titles, some guys go for tournament wins, king of the rings. These guys are going for who has the best moniker of superhero. What can I say, Joe? It's certainly a very interesting, uh, interesting cause to be fighting for. Right. I believe Hero won the singles meeting between the two, and Spectre rallied back in a mixed tag to get the victory there. Well, I would have to suggest that it's not often that you find the rivalry in a match like this where the two challengers seem to have a little bit more of a, a problem with each other, if you will, versus either one of them over the champion. But they, like you said, that's exactly what has happened here, a history between Glenn Spector and Chris Hero. Maybe that's all the reason for putting them in this type of a match. Right, you are, and Glenn Spector using those trademark machinations. And how about this too, Joe? This might be one of the first times that I've seen in IWC, and of course, you are the human knowledge database for IWC, that I've seen a triple threat match where you tag in one of the uh, one of your opponents. Certainly a rarity here in IWC, if we've even seen it at all. But McChesney, I think, is happy to get outside of the ring at this point. Yeah, I would be, you know, hey, that's actually not a bad game plan, Joe. If you have the title in your grasp, oh, exactly. allow these two guys. However, you know, if Chris Hero gets the count on top of Glenn Spector, that's it. McChesney loses his belt. I'm hoping that position means Glenn Spector wants to <laughs> wrestle amateur style. Listen, I, I would put nothing past Glenn Spector. Um, I don't know if you caught what was going on the ring when he was giving me his ring attire, but uh, let's just say he wasn't talking to me and asking me, uh, you know, asking me to be his friend. So should we leave it at whispering sweet nothing? Thank you. No, let's not even talk okay. like that. Let's not go there. Hero with a wrist lock. Of course, both Hero and Spectre, despite their own personal problems, very much deserving of a Super Indy Championship matchup. Hero has been all over the world, competing for just about every top independent promotion in this country. Spectre, of course, a big star in Pennsylvania, Ohio, New York, Japan, just about anywhere you could think of, Glenn Spectre has appeared in and probably won a title in. Absolutely. And, and, and if I'm not mistaken, I, I believe, and, and Joe, again, as, as I know you're the database of wrestling knowledge here at IWC, um, I, I believe it was Glenn Spector that he either currently holds or held a title for another promotion uh, here right now. Is that correct? Right. The, the NWA Upstate Heavyweight title uh, based in, I believe, Rochester, New okay, York. Okay, there you go. I mean, so right now he is a champion. Of course, IWC does not recognize that title as one of their own, but nonetheless a champion is Glenn Spector. And no matter what persona you have seen Glenn Spector, because, oh, Joe, this, I don't think that's, Joe, that's not a switch. That's not a standout. That's simply riding a pony, I guess. No technical term for that. No. No, and certainly... Oh, no. Ah, double Jeez. handful. Well, Hero kind of put up with this before. We've seen how much it's frustrated Hero in the past to not be able to mat wrestle with one of the greatest mat wrestlers in the game to instead go to this psychology game. Well, that's the thing about Glenn Spector. You know, if you were to talk to him in the back, he, he is a focused guy. And it's my contention that Glenn Spector uses this persona. And, and certainly I know if you see him in the back, he's, he's very much the same way he is in the ring. But I believe that he believes by exploiting it inside the ring, it gains him a psychological advantage. Because how in the world can you prepare for a guy like Glenn Spector? One minute he's clotheslining you, the next minute he's asking for your phone number. McChesney trying to muscle over Hero, maybe a go-behind takedown, a German suplex, but either way, Hero just too big for that. And despite all the unbelievable odds McChesney has overcome this past year, think about, think about being the first guy not able to see a pin Chris Saban, winning Super Indy 4 after almost being choked out by Loki, surviving the cage match with Christopher Daniels, oh. and finally defeating Sterling Keenan to rightfully be the undisputed Super Indy champion. This, preparing for two challengers, may be his toughest test to date. And not to mention, uh, it may not have been here in IWC, but a victory over AJ Styles. I mean, 
Now. That is a resume builder alone. And I have to say, if I can speak quickly, as you can see, these guys now taking some mat wrestling. Looks like much to the chagrin of Glenn Spector. Oh. Oh. Quickens. McChesney tries to control his landing it up. He will up and over. Both men in a standoff, as you were saying, Chuck. But the fabulous John McChesney has such an impressive resume. I would suggest of all of the super indie champions that we've had thus far, and of course, as you know, it's been announced, we're, we're already talking about Super Indy 5, that John McChesney is perhaps so far one of the most decorated as far as wins, successful. Um, I mean, personally speaking, if you talk to him in the back, you know what a high he's riding on. I mean, it's just a great time in the life right now for fabulous John McChesney. I think he'd be hard pressed to find any title holder in recent history or in IWC with more momentum than McChesney has been able to get this past eight, 10 months. That's a perfect way to put it. You are absolutely right, momentum. And that's one of the great things about John McChesney. Joe, he is able to adapt to any type of match, cage, ladder, mat wrestling, triple. He, if you think about it and you look back at the lineage of what he's had to defend that title and what he's had to go through to actually eventually win the title, it's, you know, it's just no disrespect to uh, AJ Styles, but it's phenomenal. No doubt, McChesney's trying to keep this matchup somewhat serious, trying to keep a, a wrestling approach to it with the side headlock on Glenn Spector, but Spector, oh, handful of keister. <laughs> yeah, that's, my grandmother used to call it a keister, so uh, I don't think that's in a book of holds, Joe. They're trying to be as politically correct as we can. We can call it a cheek grab or whatever you want to put it. Pop in a feel, maybe. Well, look at just about that deep arm drag by McChesney. Spector comes right back with one of his own. Spector challenges as far as wrestling goes. He'll step up his game. Oklahoma roll, but Spector kicks out. Both of these guys, look at Joe. We could get a quick victory count here. These guys going back and forth. But now it looks like, I thought I thought Glenn Spector was going to slow it down. Body scissors. Look at Now just rotating McChesney. He's up and over, trying to make him dizzy. I believe, if I'm not mistaken, isn't this, wasn't that the u move utilized by the fabulous Moolah? Wasn't that one of her finishers? Could have been one of many. Would that not be apropos for Glenn Spector to use a finisher from the fabulous Moolah? On the fabulous John McChesney. On the fabulous John McChesney. There you go. What an adjective, you're right. There's a kick right to the chest by McChesney. Trying to come back, trying to shake off those cobwebs, but he gets planted on the outside. McChesney tried to land on his feet, but to no avail, the momentum took him down. Well, I don't know what Chris Hero's doing in the ring. He hasn't been tagged in. So referee CJ Sensation looks like he's going to allow this to happen, but I, fans better move from ringside, Joe. Security's already clearing the mass. out of the way, parting the seas. Oh! Up, and now Hero, Hero outsmarted him. Caught him with a huge boot to the chest. Follow through elbow. And Hero may have the title. No, it's, oh. no two count only. That was two and three quarters, Joe, and we almost had a super. Now, I don't know how this can be. I don't know how the referee can allow this pin from Chris Hero. He's not legally inside the ring. Right, you are. CJ Sensation losing control early on. These, 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 new, these new unique rules for this triple threat matchup going by the wayside as McChesney still hurt on the outside, and Hero lights up Spectre with a nice pitch chop. Well, the, yeah, absolutely. That's not going to stop Chris Hero from taking advantage which you can't blame him, Joe. It's exactly what he did. He took advantage of the situation. If the referee's going to go for the pin, go for it. Now, it's Chris Hero that looks like he could be in the best position right now to gain the Super Indy Championship. Take a lot more than a chop, though, to keep Glenn Spector down. Snap Mare into a crucifix. Oh, had the arms trapped, but Spector gets momentum enough to carry out. When it comes down to it, you will notice that these guys do go to mat wrestling. They get their covers, they get their pins, the legs hooked, the arms are down. And, and basically what they recognize to win the Super Indy title, as coveted as it is, is you got to get to mat wrestling. You know, forget about the lassos, forget about the kisses and the puckers. you got to get mat wrestling to win that title. Especially when you're talking about guys like Chris Hero and Glenn Spector. World renowned yes. for excellent mat skill. And Chris Hero is perhaps one of the most sought-after stars that our fans request from event to event because if you like him or if you hate him, he is awesome in that ring and he's fun to watch and that's what it's all about. Into the far corner goes Glenn Spector. Hero with a charge, but Spector saw it coming. Quick roll up. Spector almost had him beat. And all John McChesney can do right now, Joe, is watch this. He can watch perhaps his Super Indy title go to one of these two guys in the ring. You are going for Samoan. Oh, no, just plants him. 
I think McChesney's is trying to gain a second win here, Look trying to oh. innovative elbow drop. We have a cover that's, here. No. no. Well, I thought that's as close to three as you're going to get without actually hitting it. And McChesney took his eye off the ball and got an elbow for his trouble. Well, you know, if you're going to look at experience inside that ring, I think you would suggest, and if you're doing a point system all across, if you're looking at backgrounds, Chris Hero is probably the cagiest of all three of these guys, and something like that he's going to take advantage of. Get McChesney out of the picture completely. In fact, getting him off the ring and allowing Hero the chance to get a cover over Spectre. It's, it's, it's a beautiful it's beautiful psychology. And a great headbutt a moment ago by Hero, wrenching down on the neck while delivering the headbutt. And now a snap suplex by Hero. Hero with a cover, but the Wonder Man kicks out. And you can tell right now that rivalry that we were talking about a little bit earlier on in this match, you can tell that it's getting a little bit heated here between Hero and Glenn Spectres. They seem to be paying a lot more attention to one another, and it looks like maybe their mental game's coming apart, and now these two guys just want to beat each other. I don't think Spectre and Hero have any problems with keeping McChesney on the outside and settling it amongst themselves among men. Keep in mind, they wrestled twice in July. This could be considered a rubber match of sorts. Absolutely, it definitely would. And of course, if John McChesney has anything to do about it, he will end these two guys just working and dealing with one another because he's got to be begging for a tag right now. And I, if I'm Chris Hero, I'm certainly not looking for a tag. But it looks like Glenn Spector could use one. Indeed, Glenn Spector in a debilitating maneuver right now. Tough to tell from my vantage point. There's a front face lock, perhaps. I can't really tell from this angle. Spector's trying to get out of it. Series of body shots. Hero is Joe, this is kind of unique. It looks like it's not necessarily a front face lock. It looks like he's got him locked on the back of his neck. Maybe a nerve hold of such. He's wrenching that neck continuously, just like with the headbutt I mentioned a moment ago. Not quite a cravat, not quite a face lock, but still very effective. That's some of those rare gems from Chris Hero's style that you just don't see anywhere else. And, and certainly, Joe, if you don't know what it is, then perhaps it hasn't been invented yet. And trust me, that's a compliment. Hero with extensive tours of Europe and Japan, knows so many different styles, rolls out of the cover attempt with one of his own. Spectre rolls out and tags the tag. And you know that was desperation from Spectre, because if you're not in that ring, you have no chance of being the champion. You only tag when you absolutely have to. Hero counters. Oh. Big Chesney comes back with a chop. Joe, if I ever wrestled, I guarantee you I would wear a shirt for those chops. Not a bad idea. Huge drop kick. Great vertical leap by McChesney, but Hero meets him with an elbow. Now him with a one-man flapjack. Nicely executed. He almost put Chris Hero's face into the bottom rope. Brings him with a helo shades of Eddie Guerrero. You heard McChesney shout out Eddie, and he almost oh. beat him with that helo. And what an, what an homage to Eddie Guerrero. I mean, and, and, and how about to do that in a match like this, almost a specialty of matches, Eddie, in a lot of these. Look out, Joe. Looks yeah. like a hard clothesline. There it is. Attack. But Spectre Jack Nelson for the cover. Spectre almost stole McChesney's title with McChesney's help. Almost with that hard clothesline, the heart attack clothesline. I haven't seen that one in a long time, Joe. It's been ages since the Hart Foundation broke that one out. Yeah. And Spectre and McChesney taking that out of the cobwebs for this for any title matchup. Spectre charging, pointing for him. Spe Spectre will use anything with hearts and love, won't he? Oh, no doubt about it. And now, Spectre running asteroid in the corner. What was Spectre was trying to soften himself up? Oh, two count only. Looked like Spectre was trying to soften himself up. I don't know why he was slapping himself on the rear end. I don't know exactly what he was going for. Unintended Chuck softened himself up. <laughs> so, hey. Thank you, Joe. I wasn't thinking that, but uh, I guess you were. You sort of have to when Glenn is around. You never know what he's up to. You never know what his frame of mind is. Hero's got Spectre scooped up. Wait a oh second. Oh! McChesney tried to jump up into a Hurricane Rana. Hero put on the brakes and dropped both of them. I don't know how Hero would have gotten that Hurricane Rana with Glenn Spectre draped across in a slam position on Chris Hero. I don't think that was a very, very smart or thought out move by John McChesney because now once again, Chris Hero looks instead of Glenn Spector, this could be over. Oh, cravat, hit him with the Joe. Drives him down with a cravat into a neck breaker. Hero new champion, no. Joe, I have no idea how the fabulous John McChesney could kick out of that. That is definitely one of Chris Hero's finishing moves 
and there are a few men who have kicked out of it. Wait, Chris Hero going for that hero's welcome, but Glenn Spector interrupts. He knows that McChesney's pinned. He won't get that title. Oh, Whoa, no. wait a second! Oh, crock bottom. The and Glenn doesn't go for a cover. Well, Glenn what? knows McChesney's going to interrupt. Wait but a McChesney second. McChesney low breaches him. And now look out, Joe. His fabulous is going to go to the top as Chris Hero's in a compromising position. McChesney up top. Look out. Oh, splash. There are some shades of Eddie Guerrero for you as John McChesney retains the Super Indy title. And still, IWC Super Indy Champion. Great tribute to one of our fallen friends to cap off a tremendously competitive Super Indy title triple threat matchup. And John McChesney successfully defends over the, the fighting superheroes, Glenn Spector.